Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Nenya Reacts. Today we are watching Outlander. I think we're on episode six. I think we're on episode six now. Um, the last episode I filmed hasn't yet gone up, but um, it will be up obviously by the time you see this one. And I just want to say I'm sorry about um, the disjointed nature of it, but YouTube blocked a few things. Um, so it ended up taking me about two day, two and a half days to actually upload it. And it's a shame really because they didn't like at the end of that episode. I don't know if you remember because I couldn't put it in, but Claire like makes a joke to Rupert and everyone laughs. Um, I couldn't have that in it. And then the fight scene completely, the whole fight scene wasn't allowed. So I just had to delete it. Um which is a shame because they're two really nice bonding moments <clears throat> between Claire and the rest of the group. So otherwise it makes it look like quite a negative episode, but actually there was some nice things. Anyway, what can you do? Um, if I ever get to do a Patreon, obviously, then the whole thing can just be up. Um, but until then, so anyway... <sighs> bit annoying in it this copyright stuff um i think it's outlander i think that's the, that's what it is because i don't have half as much trouble with um disney and movie reactions although never been kissed was a bit of a trouble but um it ended up working out okay thanks for watching and thanks for your comments i won't read them out now just so we can get on with the reaction but i'm gonna read out a few at the end and um talk about it and i will get back to you things have been rough anyway should we get should we get going play do we ever see that scene with them on the dock bear it's quite a nice name bear i don't think i'd be brave enough to use it not that i'm having any more children the garrison commander yeah because claire got captured didn't she well captured should we call it captured Let's call it captured. <laughs> Shaving stuff. A watch. Does Frank have that watch? No. Okay. I appreciate your concern, Lieutenant. I'm a guest of the Clan Mackenzie. Nevertheless, I'm certain my commander will wish to speak with you. Why? I'm presently in residence at the Inn at Brockton. Will you accompany me? Well. Why will he want to speak to you? Why? The other lot going to be like, where's Dougal and Claire? They call it Craig Nadoon, but in the book it's Craig Nadun. And somehow it felt liberating. To I'm on book three now, by the way. I knew only too well what Dougal was feeling. A Scottish village, it may be. <laughs> and on Mackenzie land at that. And he was the outlander. Hmm. Yeah, it must be really weird, isn't it? Get out, you lot. So muddy, isn't it, everywhere? If only you had telepathy, you could <laughs> talk to each other. What should I say, Google? What should I do, Dougal? Each man see to it that his horse is grained and watered. I would not entrust their care to our Scottish hosts. Why should this, they do it? Because you're not actually guests. You call them Scottish hosts, but you weren't invited. My lord, may I present Mrs. Claire Beecham and Mr. Dougal Come McKenna. in, come in. English Rose. I've not heard a good one since I first set foot upon this blasted turf. You must be absolutely famished. I hope venison is to your liking. Oh, his eggs look nice. Bottled in 35. Need I say more? Knight of the Bath and commanding officer of the Northern British Army. War chief, eh? <laughs> a fine specimen of the local inhabitants, my lord. How am I to address you, sir? Specimen? Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I fail to understand a single word the creature said. <laughs> creature, specimen. You say Chief Mackenzie. Oh, that's so rude. Someone really ought to teach these people the King's English. <laughs> <laughs> Newcastle comes to mind where... The local accent is equally unintelligible. Just stay out of it, Claire. Yes, yes, quite right. You 
wish to hear Londoners speak, perhaps you should have stayed in London. Yeah. Ooh. My lord, he says no need, Lieutenant. I understood him perfectly well that time. I don't like any of this scene. It makes me so uncomfortable. I happy to... Laird Thomas. Only then I suppose I'd have to wear one of those woolen skirts. The jackass. From one Laird to another. Are you purposely trying to embarrass the lass? Or are you just an arrogant wee smirk? Good Christ, man. Do you know to whom you speak? Watch your words, sir, or I'll have you. Are you? Dougal, Lieutenant. Enough. You're both behaving like children. It's quite right, quite right. The lady's sense of propriety puts us all to shame. The question of the kilt <sighs> will remain an enigma. <laughs> I won't, madam. Can we skip forward? <laughs> you do know how to order men about. Aye, she does that. No room. You can keep your scraps. Yeah. With such an ill-mannered people. What are you talking about? You started the rudeness as soon as he walked in. Like, you couldn't understand him, blah, blah, blah. You were the one that was being really offensive. Talking like he wasn't there. Insulting him. Skip the chatter. Play some music over it. <laughs> so she must be telling her story about being a widower from Oxfordshire. I do hope that my adventure is now over. Been escorting Mrs. Beecham to Inverness, where she may book passage to wherever it pleases her to go. You have my word on it. Inverness. Was he genuine here then? Homeward journeys. Really, like, yeah, I'm gonna. Uneventful. My lord, are you aware that at this very moment are we under attack, sir? We are not. You're putting the claret at risk. I suggest you step outside and rid yourself of... Oh no, don't look over here. And I know he does. Oh, crying out loud. Go away. Am I mistaken, or do you two know each other? Oh. Not for a moment there. Aren't you <sighs> Captain Jonathan Randall. Oh, no. Claire, stop looking, making it so bait. Sufficiently. He should say, no, you're not. Now get out. Yes, someone pour a glass for the good captain. Dougal Mackenzie, war chief of Clan Mackenzie, is downstairs. That is not news, captain. It was he who brought Mrs. Beecham to us. Do you propose to admonish me, sir? Oh, God, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. The general must explain himself to a captain. Can't for the life of me piece that one together. I know. What if Captain Randall accompanies you to Inverness? That way you may regale him with tales of your adventure. It's sure to make the time fly. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. I wasn't aware that the English had any Scottish friends. I'm sure Private McGreevy would agree with me. If he were able. Do not mention that sad subject. God, I know what's going to happen. I do not easily swoon. Why did you say, yeah, I'd rather for not know? Why? You You're bringing it... Wandering away from patrol. We found him two days... She's stoking the fire. He was cradling his severed head. It was a sad day for Private McGreevy. Is that all you have to say? On the road here yesterday, we came across two Highlanders. Hanging from crosses. Look, he's like... You're so easy, Claire. Then it would be the result of English justice. And so said the letters carved into their chests. Shut up! In a trial to prove it. Claire, man! What are you implying, sir? All this time living with savages, Google Mackenzie has shared more than just bread and shelter with the lady. Perhaps he has also shared his bed. How dare you! That is a scurrilous charge. You cross a line, sir. If I am wrong... Oh, he defends her, okay. Gods just want the same freedoms Shut we enjoy. Shut up! Claire. Freedoms we take for Do you God. agree? Do you not agree? We are not the aggressors, Captain. We are. It is their land and we are occupying it. Well, this is this is on you, love. Do you just... I believe it's the king's land. She's meant to be smart. Like, come on. My loyalties lie with the king. Zip it, hey? She must be returned to the bosom of her family as soon as possible. 
I could leave for Inverness today if you will allow it. It is downstairs. We've sent for the surgeon, but no one is sure of his whereabouts. I'll go. I've told you, I've medical experience. <sighs> Clear. No, 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 no. I'm fine. This arm is going to have to come off. Someone give me some boiling water. Like, your arm's got to come off. No, 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 no. Put, get me a bullet. <laughs> I'm not going to do the pain. Steady now. <laughs> I can hear it, but at least I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Why did you go back upstairs? Is of hunting rebels. It's the beautiful hand wields it. You know, I'm like, I love Frank, right? I'm on book three. Frank's nicer in the show. It's a bit annoying. Your nerves do not control you. Why did Claire go in here? She should have peeked in. Oh, they're not here. Bye-bye. Go back downstairs. Lord Thomas said I would be leaving today. But Lord Thomas is an utter ass. Troubling statements. <gasps> well, even Lord... Just pause it out the window. He don't give a shit, does he? <laughs> like the windows. Cool. I wish to apologise. That awful day in the woods. Her apology pleases me more than you know. I look forward to the opportunity to reveal my true nature to you. But honesty will be met with honesty. I'm scared. I'm feeling really scared. Let us begin with you telling me who you are. There are no Beechans in Oxfordshire that I know of. Your family hailing from Sussex. May I ask just how you know that? To paint you either as an empty-headed trollop or as an agent in league with the king's enemies. Are those my only two choices? Stick to your story. Stick to your story. Just an affair of the heart. Oh, God, she's gone on enough of story now. I met him in England. An officer of infantry. He swore to me that I held his affections like no other. You're not a, 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 that good an actress. Not yet. <laughs> Discovered he was the most licentious man. It's not love he felt for me. It was lust. Attacked me. This is not believable. Oh, my God. She should have stuck to the first story. I can only hope you prove yourself the gentleman you claim to be. <laughs> no, he's not. He's not a gentleman. Don't pry any, but don't ask any more questions because I haven't got the rest of the story set out in my head. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I feel like this whole scene, though, is way worse in the in the show than in the book. Like, he's not as... Jack Randall in the book is not as bad as this this one. Like, he's bad, but he's not as bad. Like I wasn't, like how I can't watch this. I could, I could read on. What is the man's name? Yeah, well, you need a name. With all due respect, Captain, I do not wish to lower myself to this gentleman's level. Why tell a story when you can't give the details? You should. Career and his reputation. Why would you care? <laughs> He's a psycho. Sacco, 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 sacco. Please. No, no, I'm, I'm right over here. Is in your opinion? No, I, I don't, don't, don't have an opinion. Claire, don't have opinion. <laughs> how long is this episode? Because oh my god, I can't take it. I don't know how long. I've, oh god, I think we're only halfway. Oh my god, I can't take any more. Captured my likeness. You think so? Beautiful lies that Dougal Mackenzie is raising funds for the Jacobite cause. I mean, he lacked the necessary proof to take him into custody. You will furnish me with that proof. No, I have not. You have not heard a single Mackenzie speak Jacobite treason. What would you do? Lay my back open to the bone? Oh, God, shut up! You've earned quite the reputation at Castle Leoch. A 
hundred lashes upon a hundred lashes to a poor Highlander boy. Don't bring Jamie up. Don't bring him up to him. Oh God, this is just the start of a, an amazing game for Jack to play. He was there. He witnessed it. The thief had been flogged before for trying to escape. His dad was there as well. Jamie's dad was there as well, wasn't he? Not we should. Skill in using the cat and tails, but... They don't show his dad. They should have had his dad Did there as well. Oh God, Jesus Christ! Very Jesus example, Christ! Jamie could have got out of this by um, being with Jack sexually and he refused for honour of his dad but then by having these lashes his dad then had probably some sort of stroke, heart attack, MI, something like that. Because... Oh, God. This is a horrible episode. <laughs> Like, it's great, like, the acting. You're shaking. Are you scared? I'm just afraid. I'll freeze stiff before you then, Bobby. I love Jamie. I will break you. Yeah, he will as well, won't he? Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it, guys. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can do it. I've become so much more sensitive than I used to be. Have you ever seen a man scourged in my stomach flutter and my legs shake? With pleasure. A hundred lashes is fatiguing to the arm. You would die. You would die if you had this. You would. You would. Nowadays, let alone back then. Oh my god, good lord. He's on two. And he's pouring blood. Nah. For crying out. How much am I going to be able to show of this on YouTube? None, right? You just have to watch my reaction and use your imagination. Not that I'm watching it. <laughs> I'm looking over there at Seven Brides and Seven Brothers pictures. Sheer. The judder of the whip coursing up my arm, exploding into my heart. The boy would not beg. Would you stop if he did? Is that his dad? I don't know how it still looks fairly intact. It would be completely bare, surely. Oh, poor Jamie. God, when you think of this, you can forgive Jamie for everything, can't you? Like, all the silly little things that happen. Oh, for fuck's sake, you know. For crying out loud. How did they do this? Like, how did they, did they do, like, a prosthetic over his back? This has got to be his... Is this his dad? Imagine your poor father watching this happen to your child. I don't care. I'd get a gun and shoot him in the back of the head. I don't care what happens. To, I'd go and shoot him in the back of the head. Fine, Lord Jesus, Mother. Forgot, can we stop it now? Can we stop it? And something changed. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Fainted like a woman. Oh my God. And the crowd barked in laughter. I think it was in Why are they watching? To bleed him to the bone. Narrowed down to my arm and his back. I can't. I don't think I can. I just don't want to listen anymore. I really don't, guys. Gasps and to sobs. Oh my god, this is horrific. <gasps> you had to look away. I think all they could see was the horror. I could see the beauty. Could you imagine if he was born, this person was born in today's, he'd be one of these crazy people like that 
it's like a serial killer and captures and tortures people. This is who he would be if he was born in today. We were creating a masterpiece. He's absolutely off his rocker. Why does he look drunk? It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <sighs> I'm getting a headache. I promised that I would reveal myself to you. I have. I believe you have. Yeah, so now you know who you're dealing with, Claire. Come on. It gives me some hope yet for your soul. No. No, it's not happening. Sorry. Darkness has grown within me. Do you think of the mercy Jamie Jamie shows Jack later? I don't know how he does it. You can't feel any pity. You are not the first soldier to be changed by combat. The fact that you can admit to it is... No. Yet another hopeful sign. No. As a decent man, I believe that a part of you lives still. That's stupid. Stupid. It would be pretty to think so. You can choose to be the man you wish to be. He wants to be this. What are you talking about? You think it possible? Perhaps I should begin by having you escorted to Inverness. He's such a... Slew. <laughs> I've made you happy. No, 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 no. Yes, no. The music making you believe this. <laughs> A beginning, perhaps. Hopeful music. Oh. This is Beecham and I. <clears throat> I can't. I can't. Miranda, you have my deepest gra <gasps> God, being winded is horrible, isn't it? I dwell in darkness. I feel like you're gonna die. Darkness is where I belong. Have you ever kicked a woman? Sure. It'd be great if Sir Thomas walked in, or whatever his name is. Kick her. Where's Dougal? <laughs> Again. I don't recall requesting your presence. If you come last me. I'm here. Hold! Before I lose my temper. You have no right to that woman. She is a guest of Glenn Mackenzie. I'm afraid further questions have arisen. Oh, well, not unless you want to start a war here on this day. Yeah. God. I suppose we're done for the day. Be sure to deliver her to Fort William by sundown tomorrow. You'll be accused of harboring a fugitive from English law. Thank God for Dougal. War chief or not. Shut up. So when does it happen? When Jamie comes with the gun. When's that? Moment? I don't know. But that happens there, doesn't it? My body's still reeling. <sighs> the last thing I felt like was a I'm so glad we're out of there. Of the I'm so... Cl Claire must be so happy to get to get back to these lot. But there's fresh water nearby, and you look like you'd use it. Water? Where? Down. <laughs> Someone commented and said, this is all filmed in Scotland. So thanks for that. It's pretty. Pretty here. Yeah. It'll wet your throttle, sure enough. <laughs> Meant to make you tell the truth, isn't it? Are you a spy for the English or the French? <laughs> What's he got his... I am not... A spy. Aye. Done it is. Is he going to kill her if you she was a spy? Using that on me. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't have liked it. You're a handsome woman. But if you drink from that and you prove untrue, it'll burn your gizzard. This reminds me of the um, thief's downfall in Harry Potter. A bit. Is it? Is that? It's sort of. Oh, yeah. Do you believe in the powers of magic? I doubt Captain Randall will be so easily convinced. No. You don't need to see him again. Not if you do what I tell you. <laughs> An English officer cannot compel a Scottish person unless there is proof a crime has been committed and even so cannot force a Scottish subject. You've been talking to Ned Gowan? Aye. aye. <laughs> From an English woman to a Scot. 
Yes. Come on, Claire. No, absolutely not. I, I cannot do that. Why? I'd go to an English prison. Worse. Marry you. <laughs> He's already married. Well, I must admit, the idea of grinding your corn does tickle me. Uh. It's not myself I'd be nominating for the position. <laughs> It was between um, Jamie and Rupert. <laughs> oh, Rupert. Hello. Hello, future hubby. Girl wants us to be married. I. <laughs> well, you've mended my wounds more than once. <laughs> oh, God. I you something for all that. I'm sitting rather still over there. We have left you to that mad bastard, Randall. Isn't there someone else that... You're interested in? No. No, I'm not much of a prospect for a wife. I mean, I've nothing no. on the soldier's pay to live on. Being on the run. And there's the minor difficulty of the price on my head. I'm not a virgin. No. So long as it doesn't bother you that I am. Ah. Oh. I reckon one of us should care what they're doing. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I like the way their waistcoats do up at the back, but how do they do that? Them set, they must have to get someone to do it. Or maybe they just it's pretty and then you do it up from the front. <laughs> oh, that's the end. Okay. <laughs> oh. Wow, that was some episode, wasn't it? Jesus. Wow. That was really, really hard to watch. Really harder than I recall. Like, um, it was basically what fifty minutes of horrific mind effery with Jack. <sighs> yeah, really, really horrible. Really, really horrible. Wow, so well done though. Really, really good, wasn't it? Really, really good. The script, the writings. Great. I mean, they have a lot from the books, so that's some great help, isn't it? Um, they should stick to all that. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad that they got out of there at the end. That would have been annoying to finish on a on a low note. That would, but so it's nice. Claire, Jamie, going to get married. Okay. So a few comments. Um, um, I won't read them all. I'm just reading um a couple from uh, what video is this from this is from oh the first reaction okay so um someone told me about some male reactors so thanks i'll i'll check that out miss t fy tfy go for lynn doesn't like el Grey either <laughs> yeah joa kim loberg eight three four five um said about reading virgins which is about young jamie and ian in france before the events in outlander so i will definitely read that but it'll probably be a while won't it until i get to the end of what i'm on and then i can go back and read that afterwards and then i know she's writing some more stuff isn't she all like extra bits like about um what's his name that french guy uh and then crazy 9582 said come on bring your husband on and let him watch the show with you we won't mind we need more male react reactions for this show as a show and book reader keep in mind that the show does not follow the books 100 percent, more like 93 percent of the time which is pretty good overall yeah I, I i'm i um i'm sit i'm seeing that a bit now but i think probably what this season's the most like akin to the book and then I uh, as the show goes on I believe it goes further away from the books am I right about that I don't know but yeah I'm trying to you know I'm not going to be too hard on the show for veering off but um it's I think it's good to just like know the differences isn't it but um and see what see what we prefer about the, what's in the book or what we prefer from the from the show I mean what do you what do you prefer in Crayscene do you prefer the books or the show um and with my husband my husband's got a little girl downstairs whilst i do this um reactions or they go out or go for a drive or whatever they're in the garden i think playing with sand and we don't have anyone anyone to to look after little one 
otherwise yeah that i've said we've said that before it would be nice for us to do like some reactions together but not at the moment anyway but maybe in the future um and i don't know if he'd he's a lot he's a, like not sure about being on camera as as well like he's not as comfortable with it so he he probably probably wouldn't want to do it at the moment anyway and then we've got a, an outlander geek here um multi Jeanette one um who's watched outlander dozens of times and she's read all nine books twice wow and she's an outlander geek she says herself uh, and she watches other outlander reactions and um she talks about the other character that i'd forgotten to mention which was rupert from episode one that we get introduced to thank you thanks for, thanks for your comment I'm probably a bit of an Outlander geek, but not not as much as you yet because I've not read all the books. As, and twice, wow. Gosh, they're so long as well. But I'm really late to the game, aren't I? And then um, Q Lee RN, it is Jamie's ghost. The writer um, Diana Gabaldon says we will find out more about this moment in the last of the Outlander series main books, which is most likely book 10, which she is currently writing now. Nine books have been published thus far. Yeah. Um, Cutely RN. I was um in recently, I don't know if it was just in because I've finished just finished book two like a couple of days ago and I've been on book three for a few days now. But at some point really recently, um when Claire goes back, she, Jamie's like thinking he's gonna die and stuff, and he's saying like he'll wait in purgatory to see her again, like as a ghost. Um and I was that kind of made me think of when we saw him as a ghost and he was like oh it's a long time you know 200 years will i have to wait to see her but i will if that's what it means so i don't know yeah which is yeah and then i thought is i mean this is this should be so crazy and it can't possibly be true but did jamie actually die in the battle of Culloden and everything we've seen since not real but um it can't be that like i can't do that it was all a dream or whatever <laughs> um but yeah they're the comments so the, some of the comments um so far but i i know there's other comments on other videos but um i'll try and get to it at some point <laughs> uh and someone left the link actually on this one who was it i'll read that one because otherwise it's mean to miss someone out it's tr4 msy 4 n and they said this is how you pronounce Dougal's name and they've put a link and I'll check that out. Thank you. <laughs> Dougal, Dougal. Um, or Dougal or something else. But um, yes, uh, I will catch you on the next one, which I think we are watching. We watched, what was it? What did we watch? We watched Dumbo was the last Disney and um, we will be watching Bambi and then Outlander and then Cinderella and I might try and start Stranger Things we'll see things have been so hard at the moment I'm really really trying to keep up with the channel and I don't want to miss a week I really really don't want to miss a week um and uh I'm gonna try and catch up so far so good <laughs> but yeah but uh, please like and subscribe and um I'm sorry for talking so much at the end and I'm so sorry for being so quiet during the action but um I will catch you on the next one bye <laughs>